Hi everyone and welcome back to Switch Up. My name is Mark Walker and today we're going to look at some of the best Black Friday sales. It's going to be a mixture of EU and American regions and a thanks to the thousands of you that have been using our eShop vouchers over at switchup.gg using code SWITCHUP to save 10%. I know it obviously gets you a little discount, but the fact that you're using it actually gives us a little kickback, and that's all officially endorsed by Nintendo. We also have our 12 days of Switch Up starting quite soon, where just as we did last year, we'll be giving away at least one Nintendo Switch OLED. So keep all your notifications on and all that jazz. But right now, what we want to know is what are some of the best Black Friday eShop sales on the Nintendo Switch? Well, oh no, <laughs> let's find out. First up, one of my favourite Metroidvanias and the biggest comeback story, or at least one of them, in recent memory, we've got Death's Gambit Afterlife. This one is currently 40% off, dropping it down to its cheapest ever price of $11.99 or your regional equivalent. It's a single player Metroidvania with 7 different playable character classes, which includes 100 different talents through quite an extensive skill tree. The boss fights here are quite well done, and although it is quite challenging, it's not to the soul's end of the spectrum. There is, however, a different mode in the game where you can play much, much harder once you've finished. Now, you've got a mount that you can use to ride from one end of the map to the other, as well as a full crafting system, and it handles so well with very low input latency. And there's also a new game plus offering decent value after the 20 to 30 hour long campaign. A massive thanks to Established Titles for sponsoring this episode. I am honoured to be joined by Lord Bolger. Absolutely. So um, after you quite literally lorded it up for a week, <laughs> I decided to, uh, you know, join the club. Wow. Lord Bolger. Lord Sugar, don't worry about that. Lord Bolger, yeah. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on an historic Scottish custom where landowners were referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston in Scotland and an official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, one tree planted and trees for the future to support global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title of Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane tickets, dating profiles, etc. It makes a great last minute gift. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using our link will effectively be next to our plots within a few meters of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a Lord or Lady, we can build our own little switch up kingdom. Right now, established titles are running a massive Black Friday sale. All right, so for the non-Lord or Lady that has everything, this is a great little gift. You can save 10% using our code Lord Switch Up, and it just takes about five minutes for you to sort the whole thing out and they'll send you your certificate. All that's left to say is another big thank you to Established Titles for sponsoring this video. Hello Games are most known for No Man's Sky, which is finally on the Nintendo Switch, but they also created a little known game called The Last Campfire. It's a lovely little adventure that's currently 80% off. Again, it's cheapest ever price, clocking in at just £2.69, an absolute barjan. And at this kind of price, you would not be able to get yourself 100 grams of pick and mix from the cinema. You're looking at a lovely six to eight hour long adventure with much of the exposition told through strong imagery, but also some very cool characters like a giant grumpy frog. As you push your way into this forest, I loved how they drip fed new mechanics in. And there was something about when I found myself paddling along in a weird little makeshift boat where the game really captured its flow and that sense of discovery that you don't get very often these days. It only clocks in at around about 2.5 gigs and really for this price you should own it it's an absolutely essential pickup that one is on sale until december the 5th but we do have a more in-depth video if you want to check that out then we've got Doom Eternal, which weirdly, someone actually emailed me about asking when it was going to go on sale, and then it went on sale the very next day. Illuminati confirmed. But Doom Eternal carries on the 2016 tradition of a very fast-paced combat system that essentially sees you melee hitting enemies after you've done enough damage to them to finish them off, ripping off their heads, beating them with their own extremities. And this one was much more vertical than the previous. Now it features one to three player multiplayer online as well. It's 75% off and that's in all regions and you could do a lot worse than this one. We have a full review if you'd like to check that out. Now, 
Now, annoyingly for some of you, Dragon Quest XI S echoes of the elusive age, which is probably one of the top three JRPGs on the Nintendo Switch, is only available on sale in the EU Black Friday deals, which is strange because the US, I thought, would get it, but it hasn't arrived yet. Now, remember, you can buy your eShop credit on our website and you can just choose the different country flag. So you could just choose the UK flag and buy some EU credit. Obviously, the wise choice would be to set up a separate region, but that's a whole different kettle of fish. Now, at the moment, it's 50% off. It's an absolutely excellent JRPG. It features an amazing soundtrack. Although the music from the overworld area was a bit irritating, it does actually let you change to the Dragon Quest, I think it's eight or nine themes music for that area and that's much more palatable but outstanding really if you're a JRPG fan it's essential and you should own it. Then we've got Return to Monkey Island, which I didn't expect that we would ever see really with what Ron Gilbert had said about Monkey Island in general. And it was nice to see him take back control. Now it takes place straight after the second game where you'll be playing as a young Guybrush Streetwood or so you'll think. And it manages to capture fully the feeling of a classic Monkey Island experience while doing quite a lot new, particularly in the way that you control the game. Now it does have a normal and hardcore mode and it's one that you can really play through with a kid or on your own and still have an equal amount of fun. I absolutely loved it. I enjoyed the adventure. I liked how you hopped to different islands towards the latter part of the game and it carries that same humor. Really, really good game. Enjoyed it a lot. Another JRPG, but with a bit of a Pokemon or Mon collecting, which is 50% off until December the 5th. And as far as JRPGs go, this one's quite approachable. I'd say that you could play this anywhere from about nine years old upwards. And it does have some multiplayer aspects to it that I've never actually tried out. If you've used those, let me know in the comments how that works. Now this one, my daughter's played through until she got stuck on one particular boss that I had to help her with. But she was loving the fact that she could capture these different monsters and then use them as her mounts. So you'd be flying along on a dragon and then use that in combat and things like that. So overall, a really nice JRPG that a bit of a twist on the monster collecting mechanics that you'd see in something like Pokemon and looking much nicer. <laughs> Onto a brilliant series, we've got the Valkyria Chronicles double pack, which includes the base game Valkyria Chronicles and Valkyria Chronicles 4. Two of the most interesting tactical turn-based RPGs we've got on Switch. It's a very different take on that style of gameplay. The engine's like part way between real time and turn-based, but it has that beautiful watercolor art style and a really nice JRPG story that ties this huge battle campaign together. Really interesting games these, I enjoyed them a lot, but I think many people have kind of passed them by thinking, you know, I don't like tactical turn-based combat, I'll leave that. But I would highly recommend checking them out, especially at this much reduced price. Jumping back to the monster hunting, then we've got Monster Hunter Rise, which I think is down to its cheapest ever price. And it's interesting this, because it's always the game that people in the comments say, I just can't get into it. And then someone else will be like, yeah, I was like that for like the first four or five times I tried it. And then I played with someone online and now I can't stop playing it. And I guess I can totally understand that. It's exactly the same for me. I only got into it because Glenn bought in his, was it like a, DS, yeah, it was his DS, and he had Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate on the DS, and we played it, and then I bought a DS, and might have told my missus that I was borrowing it from him, <laughs> and we would just, after school, after marking books and stuff, you'd just sit there and play a few rounds of Monster Hunter, and I think playing it with someone that knows what they're doing makes a huge difference to your overall experience and, and how addictive it gets, but once you're in, my goodness, are you in, but as far as entries to the series, Monster Hunter Rise has to be the easiest entry ever to get into. It's so much easier to track the monsters to get in and fight and the fluidity of movement is much better with that aerial system so yeah really good game well worth it if you're considering it you might want to check out our full review one that i wasn't sure i was going to mention but i will mention 
because I know there are people out there who will be buying digital games for Christmas, but in the UK there'll be some physical collectors as well that want to pick it up. Now, Sonic Frontiers isn't the best looking game ever, but at the moment it is on a reasonably hefty discount, down to $32.99 at game, and in the US I think almost all of your stores have got this discounted already. As I said before, and I said in our little performance review, I can sit here and moan about frame rates and things like that that kids don't care about. And if I was a kid at Christmas getting Sonic Frontiers, I would be absolutely delighted, as I was all those years ago when I first got Sonic Adventure on the uh, Dreamcast. Happy days. So yeah. Don't let your uh, don't let your old personness put you off getting your kids a game that they're going to really enjoy. It's worth mentioning Anno Mutationum, which I think is an absolute hidden gem. Now, sorry, UK people, this is only for the American regions this time around. It's 20% off, but it has to be said it's not an expensive game by default. It takes it down to about $20, and here in the UK, it's £20. And it is a cyberpunk action RPG that has some lovely moments, some really nice writing, and some off-the-wall things as well that I enjoyed. Like, there's this fighting competition in the streets of the city, but you can also then go and do... Those sim life things like bartending and hunting down um, bounties and things like that. It's had a huge patch since it came out and they've worked extensively on some of the performance issues, particularly those in the latter game. And it's a real hidden gem. Really enjoyed it. Great soundtrack. I love the visual style here. And if you're after that hybrid JRPG RPG action game, it does that whole amalgamation really nicely. To recap, in case you missed it then, we also still have Ori and the Will of the Wisps on sale. That one's 66% off. We've got Broken Sword 5, one of my favorite adventure titles on Switch. That's 90% off. The Glorious Persona 5 is 30% off. Here in the UK. Vampire is also still on sale. That's on sale until the 1st of December. And of course Dark Souls, which I think is now on sale in all regions. I am sorry not sorry to say that this is only part one of two. The second part of this Black Friday sales video will be on Sunday. So I do hope some of you are able to join me then where we can look at some more Barjans and compare them to random food products. If you're new to the channel, don't ask. It, it, I don't understand it myself. As always, do save yourself 10% on these games. Use code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg and also check out those Nixie Joy-Cons which we've got a sale on at the moment. All the info is in the description. They're a nice set of Joy-Con those, especially the new model. Thanks to our Patreons and our members and all of you that support the channel. And as always, for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!